Today, we are going to be reviewing cringy TikToks. Why is this going to be interesting, Andrew? Because they're cringy, and you guys will be like, oh, you. And then we'll go, oh, what? And the thing is, Andrew and I both do not have TikTok, but Caleb is a TikTok fanatic. So, kind of, yeah, I love TikTok. <laughs> you have a compilation for us? I do, but it's going to get pretty rough in here. All right, give us the first uh, TikTok. <laughs> What's with the sound effects? <laughs> what? Wait, what? <laughs> that is legit <laughs> it? It's Pause that. Hey, pause that. Pause that. <laughs> What? It's got to be a joke. When someone's boxing, who makes the sound effects? <laughs> it looks like something you do with like your little brother as kids. Like you're just joking around. Dude, I I think the Island Boys might be the worst boxers I've ever seen. That is some top tier. What in the world is going on, guys? Rick, play the other video of them speed boxing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think they're like legit going to box or is this just something like they're doing for fun? Look, I don't know, man, but that was terrible. Can you imagine trying to fight that? Yes, that would be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think that's funny? If I don't open this portal in two minutes, the whole world's going to collapse. You just knocked over one of the most ancient bases on planet Earth. If I don't restore this... Two dimensions are going to collide into each other. Oh, it's no problem. Just Grigar is going to destroy the whole interdimensional galaxy before we have time to escape through the portal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> before we can escape through the portal. I don't even know that much about Doctor Strange, but how <laughs> accurate is that? <laughs> I mean, the, it's pretty fitting because the new one just came out today, actually. No, yeah, you're oh, right. Yeah. Do you think there'll be scenes just like this in the movie? Oh, 100%. Every time Doctor Strange, he's the cause of the problem and then has to fix it. And it's just the <laughs> stupidest thing ever. Every plot is the same. Oh, dude, that, that was actually that. really funny. That wasn't as cringy as yeah. I imagined, but that was I, just, just I had to throw it in there because it's the, the new movie and how bad the storyline is for Doctor Strange. I like Doctor Strange, okay? What is up, Bethel Mosaic Baptist Assembly of God Church Home? It is Josiah. As you can see, we've arrived to Santorini, or as the locals call it, Santorini. Thank you guys so much for crowdfunding the $10,000 necessary for me to come out here and do mission work in this country. As most of you may not know, Greece is only 93% Christian. That means 7% of the population hasn't been reached yet. And although I don't speak Greek, I did speak in tongues that one time. So I'm excited to see how the Lord bridges that gap. My wife and I are going to be taking various excursions and wine tours just to dive in with the locals and really dig into their faith. Guys, updates are coming. You have a happy Sunday. Oh, man. <laughs> That is spot on. I love that. <laughs> oh, it's cringy because of how true that is for certain people. <laughs> I totally see that happen. I'm going to go to Greece for a quick vacay, but I'm doing mission work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Oh, I don't even know right what to there. say. Man. That one's kind of a tough topic. No, I love it. I mean, we're Christian, so I thought that was hilarious. I think that guy, I've seen him before. I think he is a Christian just poking fun at Christians. So. Yeah, he is. Christian, Gotta love it. Gotta Christian love memes it. are pretty top tier. Yeah. They are. But Daddy, I love him. Yes. Yes. Wait, is that his actual hair on his chest? Yes. No, it's not. Is it? Oh, my Lanta. Daddy, I love him. What's with the dance moves? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's so good. That's what? definitely cringe. <laughs> imagine. <laughs> imagine. <laughs> that's Victor Marx's daughter bringing that guy home and saying that. <laughs> and if you don't know Victor Marx, uh, he is a uh, ex-military guy. So, yikes. Oh. If Victor Marx's daughter brought that guy home and said, but daddy, I love him. He'd say, <laughs> boom, Sparta kick out the house. Literally. Oh my God. No, but th There's different levels of oh, cringe. Man. I feel like there's the cringe levels where you almost feel like you have to look away. You don't even want to be in the same room. And then there's cringe. That's like, I'm enjoying this. And I am. So what was that one? That was, uh, I could watch this guy more because it's kind of funny. You want to watch that guy more? Well, no. You don't, don't want to look away? 
Well, no, it it made me laugh. I didn't feel like I need to get out of here. You didn't feel like you didn't feel disgusted by that. No, that was gross. But I'm just saying, (laughs) it wasn't on the I got to get out of here level. Okay, okay, yeah, I get it. It's it's just it was it was short enough to where it wasn't on that level. But if it kept going, I might. Yeah, yeah. If it kept uh, going, I might have to say. If he started doing creepy dance moves, yeah. Do you want to know what they mean when they said they fell in love with an emo girl? It means she's not basic, she's not boring, and she's not plain, okay? She's emo, the best type of flavor. What? That one is on. <laughs> that's the one I <laughs> yeah, I gotta look away. What's happening? <laughs> Sometimes I can't tell if people are being serious. Like, is he is he trying to make no, us laugh? This guy, Andrew Curtis might be one of the cringiest people on TikTok. Like and he's serious. Oh, he, I don't even know what he is, but it, whatever it is, every video is like this. Oh, Well, it looks like oh he, gosh. he wants to be a emo. So are all his no, videos... No, no, all of his videos are emo. They're just super cringe. And I think I th- there's another one in here of his later that it might pop up. So. Oh, yikes. But yeah. yeah. I never really understood the emo vibe. Caleb was kind of emo once, right? Yeah, I went through an emo phase uh, yeah. back in like 2009. Did you really? Oh, I had studded belts and I had the. <laughs> <laughs> I never went down the emo trail. I oh, mean, I was... listened to some emo music, but I wasn't oh, ever wanted to dress like. That. I had like this, the skinny jeans. Like I had to get back was before skinny jeans were big, so I had to go buy girl jeans and wear them with like the Nike Dunks. Huh. Yeah, yeah, I, was... I, I never actually was intrigued by that type of clothing or that vibe, so it just cringes me. So you never go. dyed your hair or painted your nails or I didn't, wore I didn't, all black? <laughs> I didn't I didn't do any of that. I just had like the Bieber haircut and with yeah. skinny jeans and studded belts. With like a rookie emo. Yeah, yeah I was like stepping in. I was like emo that was like afraid to go full emo, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't think you could ever have went full emo. I was more I was more like skateboard emo. I could see Caleb going full emo. Like I couldn't week. imagine that. Can you imagine uh-huh. Caleb back then going home and his dad? His dad being oh, a pastor. That's true. Dad would have like, been like Caleb, what? Caleb yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the started belt. <laughs> hey y'all, Katie Lee back again with Christian Girl Ministries. Sorry for the posting hiatus. I was enjoying my honeymoon in Cleveland with my husband, John Michael. <laughs> but I was so disappointed to come back to my page and read all the comments saying we rushed into marriage just so we could have sex. That couldn't be farther from the truth. We had a one month engagement because John Michael is my soulmate. He's my person. After all, I'm 22 years old and I was so ready for this season of my life. I feel so far behind all the other Christians. So if you're one of those people saying we did this just for sex, cut it out because it's not true. (laughs) (laughs) So good. (laughs) Dude, I love that. Dude, this guy is hilarious. He's one of my favorites just because it's like so relatable. Yeah. It's so funny. Uh, that was top tier. I almost just passed out. I'm dehydrated. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> How long were you engaged, Justin? Years. Years? Yeah. I feel like. <laughs> anyway, so you don't know. Well, God, how long think. between the flash mob? That's when you. That's how you engaged, right? Yeah. That's how, how you, you engaged. engaged. <laughs> 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 I don't know why I worded it like that. Put Caleb on the cringy TikTok list. Uh. Uh, yeah, I'd... I was engaged for two years. Good night. Okay, yeah, I think it was, was definitely a year <laughs> plus. So, well, that's good. You guys didn't do the old one month thing. Yeah, I probably should have. Hey, to each your own, you know. But <laughs> yeah. Caleb, how's your love life going? Next TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! You think that's funny? What? Oh, that's funny, man. That's oh, funny. Oh, oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Steven, I, I can't, dude. dude. What in the world? <laughs> what dude, is that? I obviously it's a skit. It's just no. Why, why on so many occasions? No, those are real cops. Okay, and he's so, about to get arrested. Dude. So the cops spanked him with a baton. Skit, skit or Don't. not, even the face at the end. You can play it again. That last bit I got. Dude, the classic Steven yell is my favorite. Uh, <laughs> Can you imagine a real criminal that's like, that's how he's getting arrested uh, and beat by a cop? I'm out. You almost dropped this on us. Bang. <laughs> Excellent. Next TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's Bula. 
Why is he wearing that wig? I'm trying to pause it on his face. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I just... Do your best Hasbula impression. I should have to do with that. That's pretty spot on. But I'm gonna, dude, I'm gonna get canceled because I don't know what I said. That you just said a full sentence. That wasn't like, Russian. You just made fun of somebody. Yeah. No, you asked him to do an impression. That's true. Yeah, I don't know how to speak Russian. For but. some reason, Blake is like a Hasbula like super fan. <laughs> Every day Blake comes into work, right at like 10 a.m., you just hear, <laughs> as he's walking to the door because he's listening to Hasbula. <laughs> what, what? What? What's my package got here? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Are you, everyone stay calm. Are you okay? Are you okay, babe? Look how cute this little pepper is. <laughs> Have you ever seen it? Oh my! Oh, why are you gasping like that? Stop doing that! <laughs> what? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Sarah just got engaged. Oh my! Uh, not not while I'm driving. That's the what? Are you the great Gatsby? Stop gasping all the time. It's dangerous. Oh my! You really need to calm down. It is not that big a deal. Seriously. <laughs> oh oh my gosh! That ring is huge. And you're about to not have a ring. I will leave you. Stop gasping all the time. Oh my god! You're Drake Kennedy. That's pretty him. accurate. Yeah. Love Trey Kennedy. Dang it. I don't know about your wife, but sometimes even like my wife, she might like stub her toe and then yell at me like it was my fault. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Andrew, what the heck? <laughs> that is the uh, true story. <laughs> I love that. What did you say? Like, what, what? I'm over here. It's funny. I can't relate. Hey, you've had girlfriends uh, before. Did that ever happen? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you end up getting where you want to go and then find out when you get there that you don't want to be where you're at. And then you feel like this is all just a waste of time. But just remember, if you never got there, then you'd always be wanting to get there and then you don't know you don't want to be there until you get there. So sometimes you just got to go where you don't want to go just to know that that's not where you want to be. <laughs> Okay. That was super freaking awesome the uh, rest okay, of your bye. day and stuff. <laughs> okay, bye. Oh, wait, <laughs> Rodney. <laughs> what? Could you follow that logic? I, it surprisingly made sense. Can you explain it for maybe just someone who's watching didn't fully understand? I kind of said that for content. I have no idea what he was saying. <laughs> <laughs> See it again. People like this. Is he trying to be funny, or is he just like that? <laughs> I think he's genuinely trying to be inspirational, which <laughs> which makes it makes more it funny. more funny. <laughs> <laughs> I think but that I, yeah. I think you're right, just because of the ending. How he's like, well, well, all right, I gotta go. Yeah. So it's not like he's like, ha ha, got ya, <laughs> uh, Rodney. I'd like to hang out with that guy. Seems like a fun guy to be around. I mean, I'm sure we could get some tidbits of wisdom. That's right. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure we could get him in a vid. Over at Survival Challenge with Rodney. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do, Rodney? Oh my gosh! Mike Carey here, and no, the horror. Why? Just why? <laughs> Okay, so he's another guy that fits that bill of, like, do you think he's doing that on purpose? Or do you think that guy is just... No. Mike Care is for real. Mike Care is the real deal. <laughs> he's trying to be funny, which he... That was genuinely funny, but it, you could tell he's trying. <laughs> and when people try no! too hard, it's, it, then it gets into cringe territory. Yeah, that was funny though. But also, I'm wondering why why is he throwing a pizza on the ground? Is there more to this story? The male audience? Yeah, it's it's kind of a trend on TikTok that you guys don't know about. Uh oh, it's kind Man, of like a, I just thing. I wish I knew. Why would the male audience like a pizza? It's, it's a joke, okay? I don't get the joke. If you don't under this. Okay, the male audience trend was kind of a thing of like back in winter time. You guys are kind of a little bit behind. What are you doing, Blake? Blake, Blake, hey, give the mic to Blake and uh, let's get a Hasbula impression. <laughs> what is that? Blake, you're a super fan. I, don't I know thought what you that were was. a super fan, Blake. 
Ay, ay, ay. Ya, ya, ya. I can't do it. No, I, I did a good one earlier. If we're we're going to get in so much trouble for this. <laughs> you can't do impressions of people anymore? Dude, another character. I bad want to get her on the podcast. <laughs> she is probably like my favorite TikTok person. From because I've seen her before. We've uh, watched several of her videos just for fun. And man, what a character! <laughs> the excitement. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's excited. All right. Have you ever got that excited over just like over a TikTok a, an effect? <laughs> No, never, never, never will. Like genuinely, she looks like just <laughs> amped. <laughs> yeah, no way. Dude, that was good. Yeah. That is good. Jo- Joy Ann or Joanne. Joy Ann. If you're watching this, Joy Ann, we'd love to have you on the podcast. Uh, so let us know if you want to come uh, be a part of it. Guys, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> dang it! Yes. <laughs> 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 Sorry. You should stop worrying about stuff, and instead of worrying about stuff, you should just do stuff. Because while you're doing stuff, you're not worrying about stuff because you're focused on doing stuff. So go do some stuff instead of worrying about stuff. And while you're doing the stuff, you'll actually get something accomplished because worrying about stuff doesn't accomplish anything except where you just get all worried and hot and bothered. So stop doing that stuff and do the other stuff. Okay, bye. bye. Okay, bye. Had to, had to put Rod in there a oh. second time. See, that's another example of he's trying too hard. That was just, the, and that was in upper cringe territory. But he makes a good point. Stop worrying about stuff and just if do the other stuff. If you're doing stuff, you don't have time to worry about stuff. Look, I don't care if it makes sense. That He's trying too hard to be funny, which makes it too cringy to, for me to watch. That wasn't funny. No. <laughs> that was not funny. So you do, you you don't want Rodney. What if we got Rodney and Joanne on the same episode? <laughs> Would you want Rodney or just Joanne? Joanne. Uh, Joanne. By far. <laughs> By far. Oops. With a uh, phone friend, a Mike Kara. Oh man, what a good night. Crazy. No. I like to play a game called Hooters Roulette, where you order a buff chick and see whether they bring you buffalo chicken or a new stronger waitress. Oops. <laughs> what? Uh, I, there... think that, I think that with TikTok was a little too uh, too intellectual for you guys. Yeah. Too. I don't know. What, what's the... It sounds like there's a... Uh, TikTok trend be, uh, backstory going on. Yeah, what's on? the hidden meaning behind that? Yeah, there is a little trend backstory to that. It's just funny. Well, I guess I we'll thought, never know. I thought Justin would like it because it was like an emo, Midwest emo song that's pretty popular, and he hadn't heard it before. Look, I didn't listen to that much emo back in the day. Uh, that much emo. <sighs> ah, I didn't. That oh. one went over our head, guys. Maybe some of you did, got it. That's okay. That's that's it. Just goes with the theme. We don't know what's going. What what's popping off on TikTok? What's relevant? Uh, Rodney again. <laughs> I know. <laughs> How did that almost get a million likes? <laughs> that Bro, one, that TikTok. one's pretty bad. That one's pretty bad. Uh, I know what I'm filming. TikTok is <laughs> so dumb, dude. dude he a looks, like a, he looks like a weird rabbit, though. Yeah, that one's just right? pure cringe. Yes, that was pure cringe, but it's because he looks like a weird rodent. Yeah, remember yeah. these are fun. These are cringe TikToks, not funny TikToks. Not funny. All right. Was that funny? No, not it wasn't. funny. That was not cringe. Funny. Oh, uh, <laughs> he looked around to see. Buddy's like, "Oh, you play? What talent level are you?" <laughs> so you guys knew what game that was. Yeah. yeah. What was it? Clash. Clash Royale. Come on, man. 
You knew what that was? I don't play Clash Royale. Oh, you did, uh, though. I did. But. Oh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> Oops! It's Whoa! It's, it's, it's hey. dating. What country am I from? Come on, come on, give me the right one. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. <laughs> give me another one. <laughs> oh yes, I'm from the United States. <laughs> <laughs> Please, oh, yes. Dude, that, that's so good. It's just. I, you can tell she's just genuinely like stoked on yes. that. Like, oh, I don't even know what that is. How do we get a hold of Joanne? She is just a legend. I don't know. How does she know not know what country that is? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> well, it's South Korea, isn't it? Yeah. But it, who knows sure? South Korea? Is that South Korea? I'm almost positive. It's one of the Asian countries. I'm like 99. Uh, is South Korea. Oh, somebody that said South Korea. You promise? Yeah, it's South Korea, Joy. But oh. I don't blame her. Oh, no. Now yeah, we're that's South Korea. The rest These TikToks are going to be about five months old. They don't represent my current taste for people that are up to date on TikTok. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they're they're all concerned right now that these aren't from today. These might not even be cringy. Yeah. These are... I remember seeing this on Sports Center. It's cringy though. And what'd you think? It wasn't real. I know. I, I could was tell. Going to be my question. Why would they fake that? I don't know. It was a cool challenge. Yeah, was it, was it like it was like cringy to like sports fans who were like, oh yeah, that's pretty. We bad. get Why? it, Tom. We know you're good. You can't do that. <laughs> it looks like something Zach King edited. You're right. Which Maybe he very did. Good. Ugly. Uh oh. I know where this is going. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. 24 million likes on that. That's that's pretty uh, yeah, that's good. That's relatable. <laughs> I mean, I've never had that happen with any of my kids that's, to that just, level. The level of farting on that was like, that was like worse than Andrew. Do you think that could Oof. happen to you, Caleb, if it, if it were to happen <laughs> nowadays? So let's do, let's do a, uh, a side-by-side a recreation, except Caleb's the baby. <laughs> Who's going to be wiggling my legs? <laughs> <laughs> Blake. No. <laughs> I don't think that would ever happen. No. Oh, oh, we just yeah. got to feed you a full pizza. Oh my gosh, that's brutal. <laughs> Welcome back to I Can't Eat That, It Gives Me Gas. Uh, excuse me. Yes, sir? I can't eat that. It gives me gas. I see, sir. Uh, how about a cup of our clam chowder on the house? Clam chowder? <laughs> Fella, I can't eat that! It gives me gas! It gas. <laughs> well, what can you eat? What can I eat? I can eat. Chicken nuggets. <laughs> okay. <laughs> With the crust cut off. <laughs> I can't have crust. Crust on a chicken nugget? <laughs> you okay, honey? I'm fine, sweetie. I just need some water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, my gears! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, dude, I have <laughs> tears in my eyes. <laughs> what is wrong with people? Who made that? Dude, talk about cringe. Yeah, Were talk about like cringe. On drugs while doing that? 
<laughs> the oh randomness, dude. Dude, that was oh. some people. Dude, that was peak comedy. <laughs> <sighs> I see. If you guys can't tell, I think I have way different humor than Justin and Andrew. That's yeah, what, that's what makes this so fantastic. I feel like Andrew and I have pretty similar senses of humor, and then Caleb is on a different level. But I'm, we have some things that yeah, we're like for totally sure. like we, we all How love. Many likes did that have? That had like four hundred thousand yeah. likes, right? Yeah. So there's, so there's at least four hundred thousand other people like you, Caleb. Yeah, it makes said, you feel better. Who said, "Ha, yeah, I gotta like that." That's top ten. Dude, what really sealed the deal for me was the slap. That that's this the subtle, random like, slap out of nowhere, just and like the the smack wasn't even loud. It was just yeah, like, I was like. <laughs> like, like it just doesn't make sense and I just I'll lose it. Oh. Yeah. Next TikTok. Right, Your gas is broken in this here dodge. Good thing I know a guy. You see that sway bar right there? You see how I don't make no noise and kick it? Well it's bad and you're gonna need to replace it for about one, two, two fifty. <laughs> is that whistling diesel? No. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Uh, yeah, that was that one's I'm sure that relates to like a specific demographic. <laughs> but I thought it was funny. He had the three million likes. Yeah, the three million specific demographic. The three demographic. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't think it was funny that he's breaking the dash. That was funny, but the uh, the just the I want TV accent and environment, that culture, it's probably way more funny to them than me. I think you need to revamp your humor, pal. That was good stuff. Oh, yeah. it, it fell apart in the second half. Okay. Yeah. First part. They had us in the first. Had, had me and then lost mm. me. Yeah. All right. Next. <laughs> if you knew me in high school, you no longer do. Come meet me all over again. Same, but don't come. <laughs> Benjamin, do you think you're safe turning off your stitches and duets? Turn them on before things get ugly. Sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing Kale's at like that? dying over here. That wasn't funny. <laughs> oh, you got that two million likes. It's funny. I literally don't get it. That's that, probably the worst one of the day. All right. Well, yeah, that one. All two million of you who've liked that. I know someone. Someone watches this video gets it. Please nobody, comment. Nobody thinks yeah. that's funny. Then why do you get two million likes? That was a typo. <laughs> all right. Next TikTok. Do you have his stuff? Do not tell Justin, okay? Shh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now, I knew there what's... was going to be a video with one of us involved. <laughs> what's the cringe meter on that? Oh, gosh. <laughs> that's that's pretty high up there, man. Plus the fact that it just ends with a weird, like, almost a growl, but just kind of cuts. That's the worst part is that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, and that's still up, so. Oh, uh, yeah. But it's not on your profile. You didn't post it. I think that was on Hypers, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's it on Hypers, but you're still associated with it. I don't want to. <laughs> Hyper, take it down, please. Hey, uh, not a lot going on around here lately. Let's just see what's behind this door. No. <laughs> Is there a better door around here, maybe? <laughs> hey, he's not even. He's so off. Ninja. <laughs> I was trying to figure out who that was at first. It looks like some like skinny. That does not emo. look like Ninja. Skinny emo kid. He from... looked like he was. He looks like he's been going through it. I love that. How makes it off... even more cringy. It is. He didn't even get the audio right. No, to me that's funny. I know, but uh, yeah, <laughs> that's funny. But that makes it cringe funny. I don't think he was trying that on purpose. I think he was trying to genuinely get it, and he just got it off. So, uh... <laughs> oh my, that was good. Yeah, oh, that's, Ninja, that was, that's pretty cringy. Ugh. Name a country beginning with V. Venezuela! I said Finland. Huh? Finland. Finland. Oh my days! Low it! Don't F chat to me! You said F what? Finland! You are on some Wait, joke team! Is this an F blood? Listen, I want to know where Finland is. V, V. V? Yeah. Venus. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's about all there is to say to that. Yeah. Ooh. I didn't There's space on memory card. <laughs> Uh, so Caleb's out. Yeah. All right. That's fine. No more reactions from Caleb, but we still have his audio. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Caleb's memory card just Here ran. we go. All right. So sour candy taste test. Oh, my God. Oh, it's sour. Not even that sour. It's sour. Woo! Woo! <laughs> what? Oh, man. 
That makes me uncomfortable. Yeah, but when does Brent Rivera not make you uncomfortable? The cringe. Yeah, his the eyeballs are a little oof, but then his reaction is still oof. I'm saying of the eyeballs. Brent Ver- sh- Go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say, like, I'm sure we've over exaggerated in certain videos, but that's always cringe when you take a bite of sour and just be like, whoa, <laughs> like way overreact. <sighs> yeah, you guys. Yeah, I'll give that a good cringe rating. Yeah, Brent Rivera always cringe. His is sister. That the rule? What? Oh, what? What was that? I <laughs> see. Rivera is always cringe. Sister, though, if you're seeing this, we should hang out sometime. Caleb would love a cup of coffee. Wow. (laughs) 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 That's awesome. (laughs) That's that's Uh, really good. uh, I love that. I am the Senate. I am the Senate. <laughs> Elmo. No, never mind. Elmo? <laughs> Elmo. It's from that TikTok. Elmo, you want to join the dark side. Oh, that yeah. we did. Yeah, we did it together. Uh, that's that, right. I sh- that's cringy. I should have showed that one. Oh, man. All right, Nick, just hurry up and use the restroom, okay? Make it quick. Wait, is that John? Hey, hey, John! John! How's it going, man? Uh, 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 uh. John, how's it going? New van, I like it. Nice, nice. Hi, the kids. Ah, awesome. Oh, mine? Yeah, you know, they can be a pain in the butt sometimes, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's kind of cringy with just the ah, 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 yeah. ah, 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 ah. That was uh, entertaining to watch. Oh, I like that one. Not as bad as Rodney. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you waiting for? My friends. Listen, we know you're here to see an 11 year old girl. She said she was 12. Joe's. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Is that a pounds. skit? What? Is that a skit? I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I to say. All right, this is the final one. Okay. Put your hands down. <laughs> Andrew, huh? explain yourself. Yeah, <laughs> I thought this was. I was trying to uh, appeal to Caleb's funny, like th- this fits in the uh, like why why category. What's going on with no explanation humor? Does it does it fit that category, Caleb? It definitely fits the category, but <laughs> it's almost a little too out there. <laughs> <laughs> I liked the the rabbit coming down the basement better. No, Steven. What you're talking about? Oh, the that you guys hate the one you guys hated the most. No, that was the one of the lowest tier ones we've seen today. Yeah, Rabbit Steven is below anything. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed us, our, our reactions, and enjoy watching some TikToks. We'll probably do some more in the future. Yeah, let us know what you want us to react to next time because we had a good time. A lot of cringe in this episode, but yeah, we could do more cringe, or we could do like a different style of TikToks. We can do a Caleb tries to make us laugh TikToks. Ooh. Ooh, and every time I make you guys laugh, I get $100. Ooh. Ooh. Sounds good to me. Subscribe!